We've been uh, looking to have these guys come back, make a return to the studio, the What Up Funk Band. And uh, they have a new CD out called Soul Funkful, The Music Will Release You. And it's really great to have uh, three members of the band in here, more What Up Funk members to stop on by a little later on. But uh, we welcome Anthony Gadd. You want to be called Anthony Gadd or? Anthony Gadd. My, okay. my last name's Gadolita, but yeah. that, that gets kind of hard at the show. Some Gadolita. Y'all got nicknames, right? We got to get you, you guys up to the microphone. So um, so y'all got nicknames. Yeah. Uh, I'll get your nicknames there. We, I think uh, Hubert's nickname is the is the brother from another mother or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that what it is, Hubert? That, that, and the uh, Minister of Funk. Minister yeah. of the Funk. Right. Uh, funk Master Admiral. <laughs> so Hubert Martin uh, on percussion yes. and vocals as, right. as well. And thanks for coming down again. Sure. And uh, Kevin Franklin on guitar, vocals. Special K. Special K, the CEO handling <laughs> all things, making sure the band's not getting ripped off. <laughs> so thanks, Kevin. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. And also Anthony Gadolita. Gadolita? Gadolita. So that's perfect, Gattolita. Joe. That's yeah, perfect. Yeah, that you sound like you're yeah. from Sicily. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, of course, lead vocals and guitar. And, and the band's uh, really excited because uh, we, we've had tracks for uh, the past few weeks. I want to thank you for letting us have a sneak peek of them. You're welcome. Um, but Soul Funk Bull, it's out. T-shirts are there. We got the T-shirts on. We can hold it up for the camera. I don't know if it's going to zoom, but this is going across the TV network and online uh, for oh, the great. band. Great. Uh, right. So funkful, and it's ready. So so what's it like to have the new CD and pushing it around? Well, our official uh, date has not been, you know, locked down yet, right. but it's coming out soon. Right. Uh, we've been giving out some demos and for people to hear. Mm-hmm. It's in the next three three weeks or so. We'll have a release party and... uh Good to go. Yeah. So, so you're looking for a place around here, of course, and a lot of people know you uh, from this area. Yeah, we've been looking at yeah. a couple of different venues to have it. Right. So, and, and we should let our listeners know that this Friday, uh, just down the road at Al's place, uh, you'll be having a big night over there. We can't mention prices, but uh, for those of the adult beverage fans, it's it's pretty affordable, I guess. Right. And uh, good college crowd. Yeah, we have a Miller Light night going on down there. Right, we, which is linking up with you guys, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And uh, Al's place just down the road. In fact, the band might even be stopping by tonight, right? We're gonna go. There over we there, go. We got a close up of the band, Soul Funkful on the CD there. And that's uh, good. Yeah. So so uh, you'll be down there hanging out if people want to come down tonight after the show. Yeah, there's yeah, a talk few of us tonight, right? Around. Yeah. 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 All right. Right down the road. It, Al's place is right here in Fairfield, so it's pretty close by. Yeah, okay. Now, now I was talking with Anthony before Kevin and Hubert stopped by, and uh, we were talking about the recording and the record and, and the time between releases. Uh, tell us about the evolution of Soul Funkful and uh, getting the songs written and getting it onto a CD. Well, basically, the, the first CD, As Funky As You Want to Be, we kind of had a release date before we had a, a CD. Mm-hmm. So we had to have the CD done in, in, in a very quick time, the first CD, As Funky As You Want to Be. And uh, what we tried to do this time is we tried to just really concentrate more on the music and a groove and a vibe that really said funk, you know, that we didn't have to compromise anything. And uh, over a couple years, we finally came up with a product, and so Funkful seemed to work. It was a... You know, kind of a name I was shooting around for a while, and then it just ended up being the title of the CD. So, so you guys, I saw you play. Uh, I think it was a couple of years ago, right outside the studio here, and you guys have played here. But oh, and, yeah. and you were already working some of those the new right. studio yeah. into the ag, right? Yeah, we used yeah. to do them live first and get them tight. Okay, and bring them to the studio and present them. So, so what song off this record has changed the most from its original conception to the way it sounds on the CD? That you guys really... I'd say Keep On Rising, probably. Okay. Because there's a whole intro for that that we do live. I say Soul Funk. Soul Funk oh, was yeah. different, too. And when uh-huh. the well, end, changes, yeah. Right. Yeah. Kind of rocks out more at the end now. Right, right. Hubert and the rest of the guys get to rock out a little more. And, and uh, folks listening right now, they can uh, right now go to whatupfunk.com. And this is a, a band which is from Connecticut, this area, Richport, Fairfield. Everybody's a little over place and... Anthony from New York, right? 
Yeah. So living in New York or? Yeah, I'm going to be down in New York. I'm still there for a little while. Um, I'm planning on maybe getting a place up here in Connecticut soon. Right. Yeah, so, it's a, yeah. it's nice up here. It's uh, it's it's definitely cheaper to live up in Connecticut, so I'm working that out. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I thought it was more expensive. But no, <laughs> no. So, 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 yeah. So, you were disagreeing. Yeah, but I can move so, in with you for a little while, right? Yeah. City cost. You you don't mind if I move over down with you, right? You're, You're welcome to my house anytime, man. Yeah, yeah. anytime. <laughs> you guys could rehearse all the time, right? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't know if we'd be doing much rehearsing. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, hey, you know what? We got to let our listeners hear the CD. Um, and uh, this is a song uh, right on. I told Kevin, I said, you know, I'd love to have it as like a theme song for my show because this just grooves this song really intense. It's a great song. You got Anthony playing the guitar. Give us a little intro to it. Yeah, Kind of a James Brown thing. Something like that, right, Cab? Something like that. It's a little uh, like mm-hmm. Maceo Parker meets James Brown. Yeah. The what a funk touch. That's what right. Yeah. A little growling vocals in the background. So uh, that was courtesy of Anthony Gadd, and he's playing his uh, guitar, acoustic guitar, usually playing the electric on stage. And... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks, Mark. All right. This is 88.5 WVOF. You know, you got a fan who just called in. You know, Mark? I don't know if he plays music, but he listens to the show all the time. So I got to get you guys on mic. You guys are too. So uh, we, we have another member of the band, Jamie Sapali, yeah. right? Yes. That's there he is. The drummer. Machine Gun. Machine Gun. Machine Gun's in the house. So so when you have uh, Hubert and Jamie dueling on, on the percussion battles, that, that's a real nice sound with, with uh, what a funk band. A lot of sweat. A lot of sweat, right? Yeah, and sweat up there. Yeah. They have a brand new CD out called soul funkful and seriously a, a guy who listens he's from bridgeport his name is mark he's a funkologist he listens to the show all the time and calls in we, we we need all of those you know what he yeah. said he said tell the what a funk band they finally got it he <laughs> he was really digging that song so he just called in i wanted to put him on air but oh, you know, thank you he's a little shy thank about you, it but yeah but all right um, mark so we got uh the percussionist and drummer Lead guitarist, lead guitarist as well. Kevin Franklin, Anthony Gads, James Savelli, and Hubert Martin. And the What Up Funk Band is here. And uh, they're going to be at Al's Place, which you guys have played uh, yeah. a few times, right? Always yeah. packed and sweaty in there. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, college atmosphere. Yeah. It's one of those old-time bars that, that's been there for a long time, I think, in Fairfield. Right, yeah, guys? Yeah, it's been one of our forever. local legends. Uh, yeah. So we're going to expose <laughs> expose ourselves there. And and do that this Friday. They've got a yeah. crew. I think that starts drinking every morning at about nine. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those kind of places. <laughs> yeah. and I, actually, I did know Al. He, he's passed on now. Oh, okay. So but the first guitar chords wake him up for the, for the second shift of staying yeah. there. That's his regulars, no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you know, putting the CD together, we we just listened to to Right On, which uh, you guys have been playing a lot of them live and a lot of big shows you've done recently. I know you. You uh, opened up for Tower Power and right. that was White Band. Exciting. That yeah. was really good. Yeah, yeah. What, what's it like when uh, you guys are performing with the, the the legends and you guys are just right right up there with them playing just as well? Feels just great. This is the greatest greatest feeling. And and then uh, and actually meeting the guys, you know, uh-huh. and and then you know, that tell, they tell us things and we we explain the things that we go through and. It's good. It's this great experience to meet meet guys that are great. Yeah, you know, level one players. Oh yeah, so, yeah, and they still thing. have the passion, right? Yeah, it's really yeah, cool, man. yeah. They yeah. sound great, right? Yeah. I saw the drummer uh, warming up an hour before doing his uh, all his rudiments. Oh, okay, as hard yeah. as he could, even though right. he's you know, one of the greatest yeah. oh. drummers ever. Yeah, yeah, hot. yeah. Yeah, David Garibaldi. Yeah, right? Garibaldi, man. He just still practices hard, hard, hard. Yeah. yeah. 
So, so, so uh, the What Up Funk band, we have four of the members here, but you guys branch out to what, about nine or 10 sometimes? Or seven, 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 yeah. seven, seven. seven. And, and the members not here. Maybe Nick's coming by, you're not sure? Or? Nick's our newest guy. Nick's yeah. follow on. Right. He's our bass player. And um, Tommy he, he lives. Yeah, Tommy's our, our keyboard player. He's been with actually with Kevin for a while. They started the the Funkadelics, the Frankadelics, right, Kev? The Frankadelics. Oh, the Frankadelics. Oh, oh, oh. and uh, got to get that out of the vault. Ooh. Those tracks. <laughs> and uh, we <laughs> we got Nick by way of when our, our our good brother Brian decided to have more of a family life, and uh, Nick stepped in, and and he's a kick ass bass player. If I can right, say. Uh, and Nick is great. He was yeah. with the Nats for many years. They're a great fusion jazz mm-hmm. quartet out of Stanford. They were great. Um, we got him now. You got him now, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. And well, what's it like bringing huge. in a new memory? Because the core has been together for, for a long time. And, and just... Oh, yeah, you're right, right? Yeah. But, he, but he's... He worked out. Yeah, Nick yeah. was fantastic. Um, well, in fact, when we got Nick, uh, um, Brian left kind of kind of, you know, quickly and uh we were we were in the middle of working and everything and we had a whole show set up and uh, Nick only had like about a couple of weeks to have the act together and we were still booked and, and working and he, he he jumped right on it. That was fantastic the way he jumped right on it, right. fell right in. Nick was on the money. Well no, yeah. He must have auditioned about well, I'd say a good thirty to thirty five bass wow. players. Yeah. In the spot. Wow. And there were some really fantastic bass players that yeah, auditioned yeah, for the band. Because yeah. uh, I'm sure a lot of our listeners who have seen you guys play the What Up Funk band around here uh, can definitely, you know, attest you guys are a great live band. It's, you know, some really talented musicians. So Thank you. You know, it must have been a sought-after gig once the word got out, right? Well, the thing is we wanted somebody that really wasn't going to play with, around with us because once you get in here, you know, yeah. you're here. <laughs> yeah, and you know, just hanging around for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you know, we check out your family. It's the mafia fun. Oh yeah, yeah. The <laughs> There's only one way out. No calling off sick, either. right? Yeah. So, so uh, you know, you can go on the website, which I'm on right now. See, we didn't have this in the old joint that we could pull up. Yeah, that's all the cool. pictures. Yeah, yeah. This is like we we've got computers and we got TV. Look at you guys. You guys are on TV here. Uh, the What Up Funk band, and, and it's streaming on the internet, clear. And uh, we wanted actually wanted to say hello to Corinne Jenner and uh, Miss 35 Anne Marie, who are listening out in Paris, France, at wegofunk.com. Oh, right. And, All right. And they let us know they're going to check you out and want to hear Perry. the BC. Yeah. What up to Perry? I also wanted to give a quick uh, 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 internet shout out to. Uh, all our friends and family across the state in Connecticut, and uh, especially some people up in Syracuse, Roseanne, Corrado, John, Connie, down in New York. I want to say hello to Falco. I want to say hello to Marcella. I want to say hello to our fans up here in Fairfield, like Bob, Chris, Lisa, and Jenna, and Karen, and the crew that all hang out up here and check out our shows. What up? We're back on the app. Yeah. We're finally back on the app. We're feeling good. We're feeling good. <laughs> Cuba, what'd you what'd you do today, man? You look good. Oh, you got some sun or something? <laughs> Jamie's got the ultimate uh, uh, radio voice right now. Jamie. Yeah, you know he could take over. We give him the late night show, right? <laughs> Actually, I went camping for the last three days, and this is what happens when you lay on the ground. <laughs> And I'm looking. I'm looking at the schedule right here. We should give the the folks the advanced dates because you got a couple coming up this week uh, at Brantford, Connecticut, the Chowder Pot, right? Um, yeah. Little Up, what the nine ninety five, and then Al's place. It's uh, this Friday night, which is about two three minutes away from the studio here. And the band said they're going to go down tonight, sign autographs, have uh, especially have some drinks. Uh, they're they're, they're, they're going to get their groove on and. And they'll be there, and uh, that night, bring some extra money because the new CD, Soul Funkful, will be available for sale. Also, hats and T-shirts from the band, and uh, so it should be a great night. And then uh, also, you're in Orange, Connecticut, September 26th, the Corner Pocket, and uh, the CD release party coming up very shortly this fall, I guess. Right. Yeah. We're looking at a couple of different places, yeah. like Kevin said. Probably something like a Toads or something like that, right, Kev? Right. We're still checking out the the last minute. Um, you got the keyboard is coming in, Mr. Tommy Out. Oh, here's Tommy. Oh, Tommy. You know what? Why don't we get into uh, another cut? You want to get into the, the 
yeah, title sure. cut, Soul Funkful. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. This is uh, from the What Up Funk Band's CD, Soul Funk, the real funk. They are the What Up Funk Band. So uh, w- let me go around. Folks listening or watching on the TV set, uh, online, and also uh, around here on the TV network at campus, uh, we have drummer Jamie Sapelli, Machine Gun. And I got to turn his microphone on because he's got the DJ okay. voice. Yeah. <laughs> and we welcome, first time, he wasn't here the last time the band came. That was like three, four years ago. Yeah, I didn't make it. Tommy Adams. And Tardy Adams. Hey, I'm just... <laughs> you got to get your nickname because everybody got a nickname in the band, right? <laughs> he just gave it to you. Tardy. That's Tardy. It. Tardy. Tardy. Tardy Adams. <laughs> you notice I was the last one to walk in. Oh, okay, so Tommy Adams, who uh, plays keyboards and sings as well with the band, and uh, he's here, so thanks to come by. And yeah, then, I was checking it out on the radio, trying scrambling to get here. Yeah, that's right, the What Up Funk Band, you know, we've got reports of people digging and also blasting their car stereo in Bridgeport, so that that's nice. He'd love to hear that. Yeah, and uh, also Hubert Martin on percussion and vocals, and uh, maybe we'll get into the track he's singing on. <laughs> yeah. We got it right on here. And uh, also Anthony Gads, the guitar vocals. So we got we got uh, five members of the band here. Also Kevin Franklin, Anthony, Kevin back on on the VIP couch there, <laughs> but but they're they're chilling. And, and Kevin Franklin handling business for the band and and making sure everything's right. And <laughs> he's like, oh, hey, we, you know, you make fun of calling him Sugar. I've seen him in action trying to get money for the band. Oh. So. And yeah, we gotta get Kevin. There's, out. there's some truth to that. Just whether well, you listeners out there, yeah. future club owners want to book us. Six foot four, two hundred and forty five. We 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 got to get Kevin on the mic for that. For that, for a little talk right there. <laughs> oh, okay. Because the What Up Funk Band, a uh, long-standing band which has played around here and and great great uh, uh, live band. So what's been going on? Any anybody want to talk about the live shows this summer? I know you guys are out there playing uh, a lot of places in Connecticut and Mass- New York and Massachusetts, and uh, yeah. talk talk about what's happening in the summer in between getting the record together. Well, I, just to interject, um, I got to say the the most exciting thing to happen for me um, was the the Rochester deal when we opened up for for Tower Power. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, you know, you um. You you hear a band for so many years, and you you almost like you build these guys up to be like these super dudes, and you basically find out they're just you know musicians doing their thing, having fun, and they just happen to be making a little bit more green than you right. <laughs> doing it. But you know it was kind of cool to hang out with them at the bar, and you know we we walked in and and noticed that these guys were checking into the hotels like hey. That's them, you know. They, you know, they look just like us, you know. They're checking out a hotel, you know. What right. we think they're going to fly into the hotel, but you know, like like Jamie said earlier, you know, these guys practice all the time, and you know, they stay on top of their craft and they do it because they love it. And you know, like I said, they happen to make a decent living at it, and right. I think that's where we're heading. So, plus, you know, we, uh, different shows we'd show up to, it, we'd be tired and burnt out, and go, okay, guys, it's going to be a tough one tonight. And then by the end of the night, the club owner's like, man, you guys just blew it up, house apart. Right, we watch your back, and like, oh, wait, wait, do you see when we can get you know more than three or four hours of sleep? Yeah, Jamie doesn't <laughs> yeah. tell you how we fall, all fall asleep driving home. Yeah, <laughs> no, because I was driving. Because uh, you know, you guys uh, have played all around here and uh, have quite a following. Uh, check out the message board if you if you go to whatafunk dot com. They got a message board, and you can add some comments bands also clicking i saw some of you guys writing some things with the with the fans out there which is nice and uh how about uh getting inspired for the record you know we got we got i guess we can try to ask everybody this but uh you know for folks who don't know exactly your background musically we should ask each member of the band uh how they got into music and some of the stuff they would listen to or what are they listening to today We'll go with Hubert, Hubert Martin. Hubert Martin. Here we go. We'll start out with the percussionist and vocalist well, I, about the background. For, for our neophytes listening yeah. out there about what up funk. Well, it's been some while. <laughs> the last time. That was a long time ago. Uh, some time ago, back when I was in school. Back when I was in, in um, se- actually, I was in, seventh, in the seventh grade glee club. And um, 
<laughs> Glee Club. Yeah, yeah. Summertime. This is new to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, and I used to always. That's not a web. And the teacher, the, te- the teacher was always have me have me playing bongos, you know. And I'm sitting down there playing. I'm feeling like such an idiot playing. I'm sitting down playing these bongos. Everybody's up looking so cool singing. And I'm saying, well, why do you do this? You know, I said, why do you do this to me? I, I just had to just ask us. Well, why do you do this to me? Why you always got me playing these bongos? And said, it was you, but you've got the best rhythm. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, and I start going on and progressing, starting meeting people. I, got, I was fortunate enough to get, get with a gentleman by the name of Sonny Costanzo. As you used to tell you, as you used to tell me. Oh, yeah, right, Winnipeg. right. And when I met him, that's when I, I basically when my professional career started. And I suddenly plugged me in with some people and, and put me on with some very good things. Taught me a lot of great things about the about the field, about the, the field. And, and, yeah, and he had an orchestra, orchestra, right? Yes, yeah, Winnipeg right. Jazz Ensemble. He okay. was talented, yeah. wind ensemble. Right, right. Yeah, and he had his own thing going. Yeah, Sonny was quite a guy. Quite a guy, and then and then as I started meeting guys and 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 long growing, learning, and growing, just biting at it, and continuing on, trying to make some sense of it. That's right, that's all it is. Bringing the great and rhythm and to it uh, continues uh, on. Uh, 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 that's uh, Hubert Martin. So uh, we're gonna segue right from percussion into the keys. Um, Tardy Adam, Tardy Adam, yeah, that's me. Well, um, actually, my dad and my my uh. My late grandmother, they were musicians, and and as a kid, my father used to uh, um, sit out on the porch and play the trumpet, and um, I, that's probably why I play. Um, how I got started, um, you know, when you're a kid, your mom drags you around, and uh, she um, actually we stopped at this woman's house, and she says, "Oh, you know, we have an organ downstairs. You know, why don't you sit?" Down? And I sat down at that organ. I was told because I don't really remember it for I guess about three hours. Um, the following week, my dad went out and bought bought an instrument for me, and um, yeah, so that's how I get started. And actually, um, I probably I must attribute playing in bands uh, to two people. Um, when I when I came out of college, I dropped out of college uh, to get married. That's a whole another story. But um, Chip, this guy Chip Bell. Um, you know, he had grandeur, um, grand, uh, he, you know, started a band, wanted me to play keys in a band and that, that band didn't go very far. And then, uh, Kevin, who, um, I heard you guys talk about the Frankadelics, um, said, ah, Tommy, why don't you come play with me? And he said, ah, you could sing, you could play, you could sing. And I was like, ah, I can't play and sing. And we've been playing together, um, probably with about a two and a half year span, probably been playing almost. 16 17 years together oh so man. yeah because this band actually has been together 10 10 years yeah, yeah. you don't hear that a lot with, no. with bands yeah oh. so yeah and plus you guys still got the passion <laughs> oh. more so than 10 years back right oh. but we have we have we have a good quarterback you know you guys talk about kevin and he does keep it organized but um there's a guy who who sometimes makes everybody angry but he still gets the job done and he's he's a quarter. I'm telling you, he's a quarterback. He he's a quarterback in every sense of the word. Sometimes you know he'll do things that we don't want him to do, but it's like the right thing to do. Sometimes, and the guys are all quiet, but it's the truth. You know, we we actually have someone who um, um, drives, and I and I tell people all the time. I say he's one of the most creative people I know, and he has a drive. And yeah, just like everyone else, can be a pain in the butt, but. He gets the job done. That's Anthony. He's a quarterback. Man. Him, we just That's run right. the plays. He, you know, this. You go left. You go right. right. You go down yeah. to the car. Take left. Yeah. He runs the plays. I make a good pizza too. <laughs> and he's from our monk. Are you? No, I'm originally from Syracuse, New York. Oh, okay. big shout outs to the Qs if they're checking it out tonight. Right. And uh, how 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 about your uh, musical upbringing? I, it's very similar to Tommy. I um, when I was very young, my mother was raising the uh, raising us siblings in the Gadolita house on uh, on Led Zeppelin and Journey and Judas Priest and Iron Maiden and, <laughs> and all this kind of crazy stuff that you wouldn't think a mother would be listening to. And it kind of got embedded in my head. And before I knew it, an uncle had an acoustic guitar, and I was just playing and fooling around. And many many uh, years of schooling and music schooling, which is you know kind of like yada 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 school music you know if you if you play music you play it you don't need to go to school for it 
And um, I ended up with these guys actually in Armonk, working <laughs> in a bar in Armonk. Right. And uh, they didn't really have a singer at the time. They were kind of a raw funk sound with Kevin taking these cool Stratocaster solos and looking like Hendrix. And I just... Uh, without the throw. Without the throw. <laughs> and I just kind of fell into place. A waitress kind of pushed me to come and sing with them. And since then... Um, I guess G. Stallman doesn't have me anymore, but uh, Kevin Franklin does. Right. right. So that's what happened there. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we should bring up, that was Anthony Gattolita, and uh, we should bring up uh, a fellow whose band, the Frankadelics, are eligible this year for induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if it's going to happen, but... I think that's 2005. Oh, 2005. Okay. <laughs> Kevin Franklin, who... Uh, is the uh, founder and CEO yes. of the uh, mm. What Up Funk Band, and you know him from around the scene here uh, in Fairfield County. And so, so how how did you pick up the guitar? What what brought well, you to it? In high school, that was the thing. Everybody right. played a musical instrument, just like today. Everybody's a DJ, right? Right. But well, now, back then, <laughs> well, it's the truth. It's <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, right, right, right. right, right. Uh, so I played in high school, and I wasn't that good in high school, and I kind of chilled out, went into uh, sound engineering, and uh, hung out with that. And after a while, I said, hey, I listened to a lot of bands play, and I said, I could, I could do this again. Yeah. I could do this again. So I started playing together and getting together with guys, and here I am now. So, Well, well how about, you know, there's two guys playing guitar in the band. How, how do you guys work the work? The parts as far as taking <laughs> solos. And, yeah. How, how does that usually go? He's He's got a Strat mostly. It's mm -hmm. a modified Strat. And I got a Les Paul. So at first I had a, a Strat, right, Kev? Right. So the sounds are too similar. So Kev kind of covers that Strat sound. To do the thick and thin okay. thing. Rather than us having two thin sounding like guitars, pretty common sense type stuff. Right. You know, you wouldn't have like two banjos. So. And we both approach the guitar totally different. So yeah, like, we do. You know, it's uh works out well, I think, without stepping on each other. Yeah, and you got you know each other's feel. There's a lot of music yeah. going on. Mm -hmm. And uh also horn players. Uh right. you know, the members who aren't here, Nick DeFala, the duck, right? The duck. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Slick Nick. Slick Nick. <laughs> he, I hope he found his keys. <laughs> no, he uh yeah, Nick's on bass. We got Dave Zavitsky on the Alto Sax. And uh, we also have this fellow out of New York, Eric Maravich, that plays some sax with us. And, uh, right, they've been, mostly it's it's been just one guy, that one or two guys that kind of changed. We got Nick, and uh, he's the newest guy. And uh, Dave came in after Eric had some uh, family obligations mm -hmm. himself. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, it was a seven-piece thing. And then there's Jeff who does the lights. Okay. Yeah. So so Jeff helps you out, yeah. He's Our the road boy. manager, right? Making sure you guys look at this. Go back. He's going yeah. to get a W-2 at the end of the year, right? <laughs> <laughs> he usually so, does. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, what a funk band's here. They're, by the way, people listen. You know, school just came in into session here. And what a funk band's playing live this Friday night, two, three minutes away from here. And, uh, Middle of night. Uh, Miller Night down at Al's place. That's that's what it is, Joe. It's uh, Miller Night. Um, we can't really talk about prices and affordable stuff. beverages. Affordable yeah. beverages is Friday, especially geared towards a college crowd here at Fairfield U, where we have lots of fans. So we're right. hoping you guys will come down and check it out. And the the band will be there tonight. We're going over yeah, there tonight. Yeah, yeah, check out some some. Who, who's uh, playing Monday Night Football tonight? Yeah. Who's who's got that tonight? Wanted to add that the guy that owns Al's now, after Al passed away, he was just a kid. I think from around here, he used to come and watch us all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah then he bought the bar. Oh, okay. I got to get these guys in here, right? Right, yeah. right. And that's Jamie Sabelli on drums. And how, how about playing drums? What got you started? And how about drum influences? Ah, just yeah, really everybody. I just, I really just always liked it. Always did it. Um traveled all over the country playing in all different kinds of bands that there possibly you could possibly do disco jazz rain all everything and then uh get a little older you find that uh sleeping in the hotel room with 10 other guys just isn't as comfortable as it used to be right 
But for what a funk band in the in the tour bus is, it's not going to be like that. Uh, it's well, we ten other guys heard a soul in, funk full tour. You got ten other guys in the room with you. Yeah, the, the, what's going on over there? And you don't have the bus yet, but uh, the vehicles that we're traveling in, <laughs> <laughs> they they are getting bigger. The vehicles are getting bigger <laughs> and a little more comfortable. As yeah, as yeah, right as we go. The founder man, we was comfortable. <laughs> oh, <there. laughs> you know, it was it was all it was. It's all been good. Yeah. But we're, we've only begun. This is just the start of something, a little revival for yeah. us, you know? Yeah. The what, Their new CD's out, and it's going to be available at the shows upcoming uh, Friday night at Al's Place. So it'll be affordably priced, too. And they're an independent band, so bring some extra money, support yeah. independent musicians. Yes, guys who actually play their instruments, and they don't have a, a tape running back, and, you know, all the sweat and all the efforts right there on stage, so... You know, got to give you guys a lot of respect, you know. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, thanks. And, uh, you know, why don't we listen to a song, which I really love off the CD, In the Band. And uh, I, I think you, you're laying some uh, some some rap on there a bit, Yeah, right? Tommy. What do you yeah. Tommy, yeah. 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 The Tommy Adams show. The Tommy Adams show, right? <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> Oh, in the band. Kicking it a lot of style, cool jamming. I do it like it, like it. I'm in the band. Kick it to you, what up style, get stupid. I do it like it, like it. Yeah, what? What up, fuck? F you. That's fair for you, you know. What up, Funk? And it's here. Yeah, playing that that percussion there. Oh, that's in the back. I thought that was on the rack. (laughs) It actually was. Oh, okay. So uh, we should reintroduce everybody uh, who's listening out there. If they just tuned in, Uh, you know, Car Stereo's blaring in Bridgeport, which is good to have the music playing out there. And also, hey, you know, we go to Long Island on this station here. Oh, okay. For some oh. reason, it it comes across right across. Oh, across the yeah, and real clear, too. So oh, wow. go we'll figure that one. But uh, we got Tommy Adams on keyboards That's and me. vocals there. And, it's Artie. Uh, so, so how do you guys decide uh, singing lead vocals on particular songs? I know Anthony handles uh, a majority of it, but Tommy and, and Hubert join in. Singing, singing lead as well. You know, it's funny. It goes back to the quarterback thing. You know, Anthony will say, "You know, you're not singing enough." So <laughs> usually the next song is yeah. usually me or you. You're a song, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean you're, you know, you're not you're singing song, enough. Yeah. So the next song we learn is usually one yeah, of our. You know, <laughs> no, we saw the we saw the we saw the quarterback in action because he was telling the band, "You're not talking enough." So he was going around. Yeah. He was giving out the, the plays. Yeah, yeah, and they have guys the out there. You think I'm goofing around. I'm telling the truth. Yeah, well, I saw it in evidence there. <laughs> yeah. Funk show he wrote for, you know, not for himself. Right. Uh, so that's that's cool. He's, he delegates and is not you know, afraid to share his own songs. Yeah. Gives the what a funk sound. So Tommy Adams and Kevin Franklin on guitar, yeah. business, and... uh legendary man around this area we already had a couple people come i know you i know you <laughs> so uh oh money oh God. yeah so uh you you're looking forward to to coming out with the cd release party which is going to get finalized within the next few weeks and uh coming up yeah since, since kevin is the business guy and, and booking stuff and take us into what it's like getting abandoned and and uh playing in a place and all the headaches and and Talk about some of the positives around around this area, because because you, you've been doing it for a long time. Yeah, when, when you first start off with a band, it's hard. Nobody wants you. You got to bring a thousand people in the club, but you haven't played, and it's that you know. 
right, that right. thing going on there. And once you start to get it going, it gets a little easier. Um, yeah, you know. <laughs> well, Connecticut's a weird state for music. Um, a lot of places aren't into original music. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and it's all crowd driven. If you can bring a thousand people to the gig, you're a good band. Right, right. So that's some negative things, but there's a lot of positive things going on. People really support the music who are into that original yeah. bag, right, which right. is really good. Uh, Do you think? Yeah, no, thanks. Yeah, yeah, for real, yeah. All right, thanks. People <laughs> like you. But, you know, yeah, we, we loved your music from the get-go and, and just, I think, Soul Funkful, which we'll get another view on, on the TV screen there. Soul Funkful, just taking it up another level. I know the band has been working hard, and we're diligent to put it together the way it is. Um, but it sounds real nice and, and live. People can check you all out. Um, coming up this Friday at Al's Place down in uh, Fairfield, Post Road, uh, right near the train station. So bring some friends. You know, I know college students, you guys play a lot of college stuff. Um, college students been digging music for a long time. So, you know. Have you noticed that it does come and go? We've been around for many years. Right, right. right. Right, right. But won't be so popular for the class that came in the next year but, but also the last few years it seems like the kids are coming in yeah funk is back where it's at now yeah okay. yeah right so, right so so yeah we i mean well, we've got a friend who does a hardcore heavy metal show here on wednesday nights and you know he's into funk music yeah. just when you know when i play it so you know he's like an underground funk yeah i mean he's, he i gave him a james brown cd he played a track off to kick off his hardcore heavy metal show really? so <laughs> yeah <laughs> go figure that so <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think, I think college kids definitely dig it. And plus, you know, you guys put on a show, which is, is great to see, you know? Well, that's, you know? that's one of the thing, one of the positives, um, that, that, uh, Kevin started to, to speak upon is, um, when I've, I've noticed throughout the years, uh, you know, people accept the music, you know, a lot of times I know me and the guys as musicians, you know, you love your music and you love what you're doing. And then all of a sudden you're out there playing it, you know, and you play songs that people recognize, you know, like we do the Earth, Wind & Fire and that other kind of stuff, you know, the cover tunes. Um, but then, you know, every once in a while you slip a, a tune in, you know, and, you, and to look out and see, you know, a kid or, or you know, we're in a club or something to see someone singing your song, you know, it's really cool. So I, I Kev is right about there are some negative aspects about um the music scene in Connecticut, but um, as far as we're concerned, I think the music scene has been very, very positive. Right. And uh, yeah. like we keep talking about our friends, I like to think of um, them not as our fans, but as our friends. Yeah. Right. Because right. you know, a lot of times, cool. like yeah. like even for you, for instance, right. Joe, you know, like come come to see the band, and then next you know they come to see the band again, and that, and here we are, we're talking, and right. you know, um, because uh. You know, it, music for for all of us, it means the same thing, even though it may mean something different. It's all something that is poured out from our hearts, whether it's Anthony writing a song or playing a guitar or Kevin doing a solo or or even Kevin driving the van to bring the equipment to the gig. You know, it's it's a love. Yeah, we make money, but it's a love. I mean, because right. we don't make enough money for it not to be a love. Yeah. And, uh, and I think that's cool. why. Yeah. Uh, that's right. right. Uh, <laughs> like, I think that's why, you know people have been so receptive, you know, right. to the music. I remember seeing you guys on a while back on a, on a cable TV show performing. Oh, that was, yeah. <laughs> that was and the seeing, early days. Yeah. That was, I think that's, well, actually the first time I saw you guys play and went to see you play was when you guys played Fairfield Avenue. There was a, a, a block party years ago. Did you guys play oh, out yeah, there? Was, there? That was a block, uh, Lop Black Day. Yeah, yeah. Black, Black right. Rock Day. Wow, how long Black ago was that? Black oh. Rock Day. Yeah. yeah. That, was, uh, that was before. Was years ago. Were you in the I'm band? Yeah. I don't that was that was one of Anthony's first gigs. No, he was in the band. Were we four piece Joe? I don't, I don't I was remember. I just remember. Street. Yeah, I remember, remember seeing the street. I'm yeah. like, whoa, these man, this is great seeing you guys. Yeah, here. I think we did it four pieces. Then the next year, yeah, next yeah. year, like right. four months later, we got Anthony. Right. So do you guys go regular to the lobster day after that? Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Regular lobster day. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen, you guys, I'm paying you tonight, but I got a waiter that sings. 
<laughs> right, right. <laughs> so that's how it happened. Yeah. But uh, yeah. And I play. I get to play bongos. Remember that? He had his old bongo set. He wanted to play the congas with the band. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? He wasn't in the band. No, he wasn't in the band. Well, you know the funny thing about us. You, they're, they're talking about that story. I'll never forget it. We're playing this club, and. You know, being in a band, people say, oh, you know, I sing. Can you, you know, can you come sing? So, Anthony, I, you know, Anthony it wasn't, said. It wasn't even Anthony. It was like the. It was, yeah, it was the it bartender. Was, the bartender. Oh, we got this guy that can sing. So, Anthony sung. Um, I want to say it was. Uh, what was the song that she sat in? It was a James Brown tit. And he sat in and it was at the end of the set. And it was like, whoa. So, I remember. Thinking, man, we got to talk to this guy. So I'm looking all around. I can't find him. And guess, the, like, the whole band is just, like, encompassing him. And then, and, and that's pretty much how it I said how it happened. We got to have a meeting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find the guy. And these what guys are all there. And I ain't around him. Playing tomorrow night. That's right. You're playing tomorrow night. Right. And you're working tomorrow, kid. <laughs> See, the way you're like, okay, cut the song short. You got another shirt besides that white shirt. You got another shirt. So, so uh, you know, we should tell people about about the CD, which is real important because I, I know you guys are going to be pushing this real hard at the shows and the CD release party. Uh, but it's available. Uh, we've been playing tracks for for a few weeks here on the show. It's called Soul Funk for the Music. Will release you the What Up Funk Band, and uh, it'll be at Al's Place this Friday night. The band will be there. It's affordable to go in there. Affordable beverages, Miller Light night, and it's a great college crowd. Who's the best pool player on, on the uh, in the band? Hubert. Hubert. That would be Hubert. Whoa, well, that would be me, I guess. Okay. You got a pool, the pool table there and a dartboard. And... Sure, you got $5, so show you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll show you some real nice things. Yeah. Oh, this is the first. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always lose the first one. Right. And, uh, you know, you can go up right now to the whatupfunkband.com website. And uh, we pull it up right here, and they've got all the dates up here for the band. And uh, you can listen to some tracks, but they're going to have the new tracks up there, I'm sure. And uh, you can uh, also find a bio, nice pictures of the band. They have recently opened up for uh, Average White Band and the Tower of Power. And uh, this fall and winter, I'm sure, a busy, busy tour schedule. So that that's real nice. So um, go right there. Get it right now. Come out to the shows. And uh, what up? funk band yeah support your local music that's right and we appreciate you supporting us for all these years thanks connecticut thank you yeah and uh we'll do a quick uh final goodbye with the band and then we'll we're gonna ask hubert to describe a song we, we're gonna end up the night with but uh jamie sapelli on drums he brought usually he's got the full kit right there <laughs> <laughs> and, and, <laughs> right here, right, that's right. he's got his bell stick he brought he brought some uh some uh, bongos, right? There. Congas, bongos, bongos um, yeah. Uh, LP Junior, yeah. LP Junior, <laughs> like a uh, mini conga. Yeah. And y- yeah, and he's yeah. fresh from the camping the expedition <laughs> before <laughs> before the big uh, soul <laughs> funk fall winter tour. <laughs> and uh, Anthony Gadalita via Syracuse, Armonk, and now hopefully Connecticut full time. Yes, I'll probably be moving up here. Because the water tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, check him out on stage with uh, playing lead guitar and singing. So, Ben, awesome. you still awesome. with the hats. You don't have the hat on tonight. Yeah, I'm trying to be incognito, Joe. Oh, okay. It's in the cleaners. <laughs> oh, it's in the cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Kevin Franklin, the CEO and founder. And I want to thank you, Kevin, for oh, coming by. Pleasure, and bringing the band. And, and uh, don't mess with Kevin. But well, actually, he's a real nice guy. We're all having fun, but... Uh, Kevin Franklin, Franklin, founder of the band, and uh, check him out playing guitar as well on stage. And Tommy Adams, first time by the Up Room in person, but we've heard him all along and got his own stuff uh, playing as well, his own project, a little different feel. But you want to give out the website? Yeah, um, you can check out my music, uh, mp3.com, uh, www.mp3.com um, slash Tom Adams. And actually there's a link. Um, what up also has music on the mp3.com site as well. Oh, okay. So downloadable music for those of you who are so inclined to yeah. uh, download strange files into your computer. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, they're okay. Uh, no viruses. I'm just joking. Right, right. 
So, <laughs> so the CD, wait for the camera, as we talk with uh, Hubert, Hubert Martin, who is a percussionist, vocalist with the band, and uh, he is also uh, very, very important to the next song. We're going to go out with Funk Show. All right. Hey, there we go. We got it right on CD, right there on camera. So funkful. The music will release you. The What Up Funk Band. From this area, by the way, so we got great musicians in this area. And check them out. Oh, yeah. Friday night, Al's Place, Fairfield, Connecticut. And the CD will be available. Shirts, T-shirts, free stuff. So hats. Hats, that's right. And give, giveaways and autograph signings tonight. Hang out with the band. They're at Al's Place tonight. And uh, they'll be down there tonight. So look out for the What Up Funk Band. And Hubert Martin. Got to ask my brother about the funk show. What happened in the studio here? Well, the funk show was something that uh, Anthony, the uh, name Anthony was talking about, getting together. It's, it's kind of like going to the circus, you know, having a good time, uh, just cutting loose, fun with a K, F U N K. You know what I'm saying? That's all that's what the funk show is all about. It's having a good time and then really rocking it. Yeah. It's really kicking, yeah. So he, he knew what it was about. Yeah. 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 I had faith in him. <laughs> So thanks, guys. I really appreciate you coming by. Thank you. Anthony got to meet us. All right. Yeah. Jane. Oh, I know. It went real fast, you know. Time flies. Yeah. And and the band, you know, you guys going to come down with the full setup? Yeah. We're going to definitely do Yeah. 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 Something going outside or definitely in here. Yeah. Because we... We've been hearing some stylings on the acoustic guitar and some percussion and vocals, which is real nice as well. So, yeah. We want to also say thanks again to you, Joe, for having us up here. And yeah, most of that. Oh, really, thanks. Got to give thanks. you props. Thanks, 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 thanks Joe. Thanks, Joe. Really yeah. cool. So, uh, 